up where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. Let's take off, we're all ready to roll. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Wake up, Gorga, it's time to play. Come on, Captain Bula, let's welcome the day. Where's that cedar? Ready to go. Wizzy and Wig are good to glow. Speakers bubbling, turning blue. Motos making something new. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See your round balls at mission control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See your round balls at mission control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Space, there's only one day a year when things get a little noisy. Orbit on down to Jupiter Fest, the annual celebration honoring the solar system's number one planet. And don't miss this year's talent show, where Jupiter's dozens of moons compete to win a shiny new pair of Jovian Jet Blades. We've never been to Jupiter Fest before. Yeah, a talent show with all of Jupiter's moons. Wow. Hey, look at Io. She sure is colorful today. I think of all Jupiter's moons, Io is my favorite. Such colors. Oh, well, thank you. It's nothing, really. Is face painting going to be your talent for the competition? Oh, I'm not going to be in the talent show. But you're one of Jupiter's four biggest moons, the Galileans. The show wouldn't be the same without you. <laughs> Thanks, but I don't have any real talent. Just lots of volcanoes, and they just erupt. <laughs> I don't have much control over it. Besides, I'd feel funny erupting in front of an audience full of strangers. Malto, why does Io erupt? Oh, my stars! To explain something this big, I need some big help from the Maltopedia. Like all moons, Io orbits or travels around its planet. And like other moons, Io travels in an ellipse, sort of an egg-shaped path. But Io's path is a little more egg-shaped than the paths of some of Jupiter's other moons. That means that sometimes it's a little closer to Jupiter, and sometimes it's a little bit farther away. Jupiter's gravity, the invisible force that draws things toward it, is very strong. It's especially strong on Io because it's so close to Jupiter. So when Io goes from being closer to being farther away, Jupiter's gravity pushes and pulls at it, and that makes the stuff inside Io heat up. It's like taking a rubber ball and squeezing it over and over. When you do, the rubber ball gets warm. Just like a rubber ball, when Io is pulled and stretched, stuff inside gets hot and melts. And then Io's volcanoes erupt. Ugh! Smells like rotten eggs. What you're smelling is called sulfur, and it's in the lava. Io is like a pot of soup. If it gets hot enough, the soup inside boils over. That's why its surface is covered with sulfur. Uh-oh. We'd have gone is more like it. She took off. There! My, she certainly is in a hurry not to be in the talent show. I wish we could talk her into doing something in the show. Well, maybe we can. At least we can give it a try. You're right. Come on. This is a job for the Zula Patrol. Okay. Now I understand why Io's volcanoes erupt, but I don't get what makes her so colorful. Do you? Nope. But maybe we can go figure it out. Good idea. I'll write down what we discovered. There she is, up ahead. Hi ho, Io. We're hoping we can change your mind about not being in the talent show. Oh, I don't think so. But isn't this a nice spot? Oh, and look, since I'm away from the push and pull of my usual orbit, I'm not erupting. But what about Jupiter? How will it look if his most colorful moon misses the big guy's big day? Gee, I hadn't thought of it that way. I wouldn't want to hurt his feelings. Oh, but I really don't want to erupt while I perform. Then how about we help you find a super new talent for the contest? 
with no erupting necessary. And you can practice right here, so you don't have to worry about Jupiter's gravity setting off your volcanoes. Well, okay. <laughs> with my help, no one stands a chance of winning. As the official judges for the contest, we'll make sure of it. <laughs> You said it, Uncle Fred. And once they all lose, it'll be easy to snatch the prize for myself. With those Jovian jet blades, I can do dirty deeds at super speeds. No one will catch me. <sighs> Stick around and watch how this plan goes kaflooey. <laughs> Could she do trampoline jumping? Bird calls? Oh, I know. She can make balloon animals. Abula, uh, she's a moon, no hands. Oh yeah, right. La 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 la. She can sing. Welcome to the Jupiter Fest Talent Show. First, let's hear it for our panel of judges. Starting off the competition, let's hear it for the biggest moon in the solar system. Bigger than some planets, Jupiter's pride and joy, the slightly magnetic. Ganymede! Go! Next in the Galileans, with the most heavily cratered surface known, that moon of mystery, Callisto! <laughs> A little help, please? Ah! Uh, everything's going exactly as I've planned! Give it time. Me. Throw it open. Me. You sound really good, Io. Uh, I hope your performance goes better than ours did. Why? What happened? Nah, it's awful. One of the judges is ruining everybody's performance. I am so embarrassed. Oh, dear. Then maybe I'll just skip the whole thing. I'm worried about going back into my orbit. I mean, with Jupiter's gravity so close, I might erupt in the middle of my song. Maybe not. Since you've been away from Jupiter's tugging and pulling for a while, the material under your surface has probably cooled off. So when you go back, your eruptions won't start until it heats up again. So if I sing my song right away, I should be okay? Come on, Io. Give it a try. Hmm, you know, this just might work. And it just might not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're back in your own egg-shaped orbit. Feel anything? Yes, Jupiter's gravity tugging. Anyone feel warm? I do, except for the cold parts. Here, with their very own musical tribute to our planet of honor, please welcome the most volcanically active body in the solar system, our own Io! Uh, before we get to that, I've got a great joke for you! Stop me if you've heard this one, or should I say, just try and stop me. <laughs> okay, these three comets go into a spiral galaxy and they're looking for this black hole, you see? And her name is Murgatroyd. The next thing you know... Uh-oh! He's taking too long! She's trying not to erupt. I hope she can laugh. And so the monkey says, that was no stream of fluorescent ion molecules. That was my tail! <laughs> <clears throat> okay, sing. I'm called I-O, that's spelled I-O. I owe my eruptions to you. As a moon, I'm attractive, volcanically active. More than anyone else, it is true. I'm called I-O, that's spelled I-O. I only erupt because of you. Your gravity tugging and pulling and lugging sets off a volcano or two. Other moons might be one color, but I like to wear quite a few. Being abrupt here, I just might erupt here. That's something I frequently do. <laughs> Just look at all those colors. I always hot tonight. Oh, and cold. Mm. Mm. Try 
Roxy! Uncle Fred! Face it, she deserves the prize! Oh, no, she doesn't! They're mine! Now just try and catch me! He's getting away with the prize! <laughs> Whoa! Those Joby and Jet blades are really fast! Hang on! You'll never catch me, Zula Pests! Here I go at double warp speed! <laughs> Well, Truder always wanted to be a hit on the stage. We did it, Molto! We figured out why Io is so colorful. You said Io's surface is covered in sulfur from all the volcanoes. It's why it smells like rotten eggs. And Io was feeling hot and cold when the eruptions happened, making all those colors. So maybe temperature has something to do with the colors. Well, there are other factors. But temperature is a big part of what causes the color changes. Good for you. And the winner is... Ayo! Uh, Thanks to all of you, I've never felt so good about myself and my special talents. And so ends another fabulous Jupiter Fest. I guess you could say that Io stole the show when she burst into song. <laughs> All right, everyone, it's time for our Molto Moment. Do you know what makes Io different from all the other moons that we know of in the solar system? Her name sounds like Yodling. Not quite. Take a look. One way in which Io is different from all other moons is that it is the most volcanically active body in the solar system. Its volcanoes are always bubbling and spurting. Thanks mostly to Jupiter's gravity, the invisible force that draws things toward it. Jupiter is always tugging and pulling at Io as it moves around the planet in an ellipse. Sort of egg-shaped, sometimes a little closer, sometimes a little bit farther away. <laughs> oh my, I'm getting dizzy. I wonder if Io has this problem. Bye-bye <laughs> for now.